Okay, so here's a bit more detail uh, about uh, EEG and LFP, local field potential, and the single unit recording or spikes uh, in more details. So as I mentioned, um, the CZ, you know, at the top of the brain, uh, if you record uh, EEG, it may look like this, very smooth and so, um, you know, uh, recording. And uh, that is uh, uh, presented over the one second here. And by the way, to see this type of the nice, you know, uh, uh, signal on the EEG, you need to do some kind of the data pre-processing. And you would not usually see this, you know, very clear signal from uh, all over just, you know, uh, six seconds like this way. You need to do uh, what's called, you know, band pass filtering. And I may talk about it in the future. Uh, and then see um, this nice waveform of uh, 150 microvolts. And then uh, these blues are uh, the ones that are corresponding to uh, uh, local field potential recording inside the brain. Uh, SM corresponds to somewhat motor uh, area. EC is the entorhinal cortex. HC is the hippocampus, uh, famous for you know, its importance in the memory formation. And the AM is the amygdala. Uh, some of you will be presenting um, the papers uh, uh, of the, uh, on the patient who does not have an amygdala. And this is the recording from amygdala, okay? And so, uh, uh, by the way, uh, I should also say that you know, hippocampus and amygdala is uh, uh, relatively frequently recorded from the human uh, epilepsy patients. The reason is that um, these two areas are typically um, um, uh, one of the most frequent locations of the generating seizure. And um, the reason of this uh, 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 patient who is very famous, HM, um, uh, some of you might have seen the movie on uh, uh, people who lost hippocampus and then cannot form the you know, uh, memory uh, comes from the fact that, you know, this uh, epilepsy foci of this, you know, um, hippocampus and amygdala was surgically taken. And if you, if the neurosurgeon uh, takes too much of them, then uh, it leads to uh, the loss of uh, memory. And in the case of the amygdala, sometimes it leads to the disruption of the emotional processing, as we will see into the future. Okay, so now com coming back to this you know, blue ones. The blue ones are the process, pre-processed local field potential in each area, okay? And the CZ, as I said here, is very close to the somatosensory, uh, somatomotor areas around here. And then the green uh, 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 signal, a uh, green line is uh, also corresponding to the local field potential. But here we are looking at uh, the component that changes very, very quickly, uh, so-called high-pass filtering. And the blue is low-pass filtering. You know, the uh, blue ones isolate smooth, uh, smoothly changing kind of feature of the local field potential. And the green ones are the ones that are uh, isolating, the ones that are, you know, uh, changing very quickly, okay? And then as you can see, uh, if you uh, analyze the data very carefully, then you can start to uh, isolate when the neurons are firing. And then um, uh, this is called a single unit recording. Or, um, and this is uh, almost the same, but uh, you need to be careful uh, that it is not exactly the same as action potential or spike of firing from one particular neuron. It's always computationally um, processed data. And so it's an inference, okay? Uh, uh, but for our purpose, you can trust this type of the results that, uh, you know, in this case, uh, it is separated into two neurons. And here it's uh, uh, five neurons. It is one neuron. This is three neurons. And each of the tick marks corresponds to the timing of this deflection of the, you know, spikes on the, each of the neuron. And then here you see that, you know, this uh, very strong high frequency oscillation corresponds to two spikes or, you know, multiple spikes from multiple neurons and so on, you know, across uh, five neurons or, uh, you know, one neuron, two neurons and so on. 
And uh, one of the things that are, is discussed within the uh, Christoph Cox uh, chapter two is uh, the correlation between the low, uh, local field potential and the single unit uh, spikes. If you look at uh, local field potential at the low frequency you know, field version, you will see some kind of you know, oscillation like this way. And the spikes or neural firing tend to uh, happen, tend to happen when the population of the neurons, all other neurons are going you know, um, the same way. And that results in this negative reflection, diffraction according to some you know, polarity uh, definition, okay? And then uh, um, other uh, areas that are close to the recorded areas from one, one area to the other area, that also seems to sometimes sh uh, show this type of you know, firing at the same time of this you know, going in the uh, downward diffraction. And this has uh, uh, resulted in uh, many different kind of um, uh, uh, conjectures as well as some uh, theoretical work on how does uh, um, single unit recording neuron spikes is uh, oscillated or synchronous to other neurons. And if you remember the, the neural um, uh, mechanism of the spikes, it basically collects the input from other neurons and then produces outputs when the input is uh, sufficiently strong. But if the input doesn't come within the, a certain time window, then the neuron, uh, in a sense, you know, forgets or leave the uh, inputs into the you know, other space. So it doesn't continuously accumulate usually. And what it means is that the neuron can fire more effectively when multiple neurons actually connect uh, and also you know, give the spikes to one neuron at the same time. And then when that happens, that neuron can also fire and then uh, produce uh, the activity to the other neurons. And if this uh, delay between receiving to the you know, producing spike forms a certain you know, rhythmic kind of you know, interval, then that can sustain this type of oscillation. <coughs> and uh, uh, as a result, uh, what you will find in the literature and some of the uh, papers you will be reviewing talks about oscillation or power in the local field potential as a marker for the conscious experience or conscious processing. And we will be talking a little bit more about that in the coming weeks, but that's probably enough uh, to, uh, for you to understand at this point. And uh, in the next video, I'll finally talk about uh, functional magnetic uh, resonance imaging. Uh,